we, we paddle out into the lineup, people smile. There's no doubt, you know, and we'll take off on a wave and I hear people going, Rosie, go Rosie. It's, it's pretty cool. There's actually quite a few people who surf with their dogs and then we have these competitions where they surf on their own and they're, you know, all different sizes and shapes of dogs. And it's, it's different, right? Cause some of these events have huge crowds and there's lots of out there cheering and noises. So it can be a little weird, but Rosie's done great. It's like anything that goes wrong, it's operator error, not Rosie. Rosie's usually on top of it. And as soon as I get that water jug out, she's like, okay, we're, we're going, we're going. And I'm putting on my wetsuit at the same time. And she will be right there, right by the door waiting, watching every, every move that I make. And as soon as I go in and out the door, uh, she's paying attention. It is kind of bad though. I feel really guilty when the surf's too big and she can't go out and I go out anyways. You know, I feel like she waits by the door till I get home and she's not happy with me for leaving her behind. She's a doer. She wants to, she wants to be chasing the ball. She wants to be surfing. She wants to swim. She wants to be with me wherever I go. Uh, she just wants to wants to please. She could do anything. She could have been a service dog, a hunting dog, and she's a surfing dog. Oh, well, there was an amazing connection. Our whole family was there, uh, and we all just, you know, a little yellow butterball of a Labrador. How can you not immediately fall in love? Very organic, because we were at a lake and all the kids were on stand-up paddle boards. And I had my other board right there, and Rosie wanted to be with the kids, so she jumped on the board and went out and she knocked me in the water you know, three or four times right away, because she didn't quite get it. Uh, and, but you know, then after that, after a couple days, we were paddling for miles, totally fine, comfortable on the board. And we did that for about three weeks. And then when we got home, we would go out to Pleasure Point and the waves in the summertime in Santa Cruz tend to be pretty small. So we would go out on these tiny waves and catch waves and she would just ride on the front of the board. She would just sit there. And then as we progressed into bigger waves, she started to move back and forth on the board and she really surfs now. And then about a mo two months after that, after she first got on a stand-up board, we introduced her to surfing on her own where we would go in the beach break and she would ride the board into the, into the sand and we progress to get further and further outside into the lineup with the other surfers and she will ride them all the way in. She'll go for, you know, 30 second rides on the board. Rosie, over! Uh, and the other thing we do love is we train at a place called the Canine Clinic, which is one of the foundations for our surf. And it's this really neat team building, confidence build situation that goes on between the two of us and it carries over to the water. Once we're in the ocean, it's the same thing. She knows that I'm not gonna put her in a situation that's dangerous. Oh. And after we get done doing something like that, it's like the next, throughout the night, she'll come by and you can tell it's almost like, oh, thank you for taking me out today, daddy, or thank you for taking me to training. It's, it's pretty cool. It makes her feel satisfied and feels like she's got a purpose, right? Because she's a working dog. She's a Labrador Retriever. But the one thing we wanted to make sure of once we started surfing with her is that she had a good quality life jacket that would protect her. So if she falls off the board, her head doesn't even really go under water. She just pops and she's right there. We try to be really, really careful with her as well. We never take, I never take unnecessary risks. I mean, good thing is I have been surfing for 40 years and the surf break we surf at generally is the same place I've been surfing for 28 years on a daily basis. So I know the wave and I know where to go and pretty much know all the people that are out there as well. So it works out, it works out pretty well for us. I'm really blessed. She is a really loyal, loving dog. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it, it couldn't be better. She listens to me. I try to pay attention to what she needs. And it's just a tremendous dog human relationship. Instead of just surfing solo by myself, trying to be a better surfer, now I'm getting to do teamwork with my dogs. I'm doing something I love and I'm doing something I love with my dog. So it's great. Yeah, no, she's just a spectacular dog. You know, it's like I get choked up. It's hard to talk about her. It's, she's pretty, pretty great.